Dragon of Icefire Peak or whatever. Yeah, that one was yeah. rough. If it don't look like the atomic breath, get it out of Yeah. All right, so you said you had a spicy take, so go ahead, unleash your spicy takes. So let me start off by saying I like the new art. Huh. However, Comma, however, <laughs> it doesn't feel D&D &D to me, the new dragon art. Why? It feels Game of Thrones. Interesting. Because, like, they redesigned a lot of the dragons, and while they kept, like, their core features, right? Like, the, the red dragons have the two big backswept devil looking horns. The actually anatomy of the dragons straight up just looks like the dragons from, uh, from Game of Thrones, except they're not wyverns. Like, they have arms and wings, not joined like wings. I like, I, I don't know like how to put it into words. It, they just kind of all look, no, someone said homogenized. I saw someone say that they, they look homogenized. That's not it. Like, I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how else to put it other than they look like they came from Game of Thrones and that's cool. Game of Thrones designs are cool, but they, for me, fit a more grounded fiction Whereas, you know, the, the, you know, the gold dragon have like the big whisker predator tentacle things on its head felt more fantastical to me, you know? And the new, uh, new gold dragon has like a standard Chinese long, like the thin little, like two whiskers. Whereas the, the old, the other 5e one has like these big catfish looking whiskers. Uh, huh. I don't know that I totally see the comparison. I like I don't I I, I don't know. I, I think my problem is that I felt like a lot of the at least among the base dragons. So when we're talking about we're talking about the metallics and the chromatics here. The Chris, you know, the 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 gem dragons and like the the space dragons and shit in in 5e. Those are those are their own thing. They have a different vibe. They look very distinct. Um, the time dragon. <laughs> but, uh, I feel like, I feel like the old 5e dragons all, I don't know, felt pretty, like bronze and brass, for example, of the old designs look pretty similar to me. Um, some of them stand, like blue stands out a good amount, you know, like, yeah, I don't I don't know that I totally I don't know that I quite feel what you mean there. I I think I mean, well, maybe maybe it's just a well, let's, body let's put shape. It this way. Well, so it's that but like it's they shrunk down a lot of the proportions, right? The horns are literally smaller than they used to be. They're more spines than they are like big imposing horns. Well, you'll we'll probably see this more with like the blue dragon, right? The blue dragon has the massive rhinoceros thing on the and for front of his face, right? I mean, hopefully, I mean, I would I would assume that's not going anywhere. As you see, you would think, but if you look at the the red dragon's horns in Five E, they're you know, not only do they they crest far farther down the head. They come back a lot. Like they're just more pronounced. They're different colors. Like, so I'm looking at the using the word like, and I'm pissing myself off. I'm looking at. So I, I just pulled up the old picture of the the first Five E Red Dragon Monster Manual. Um, they are more forward on the head, so that they they're more like big eyebrows. They start the crest starts like at the eyes, whereas the new design they start behind the eyes. Um, they're white as opposed to this like dark black we're getting with the new one. But the new one has three horns. It looks like kind of a small, medium, large thing going on. But like, I don't know. Honestly, I forgot Red Dragons had those horns because this old, the old 5e art, I feel like the horns really blend in with their head and look like they're just part of the like head crest thingy rather than horns. 
Like, oh, I, interesting. I, I, that I, I, see, I straight disagree. I like that's always the st most striking thing on a red dragon's head is it's two massive devil horns. Um, I'm sending remember. you some art of what I uh, like the a comparison of what I mean when I say that they look kind of Game of Thrones like like yeah the way they do the the like fin spine like the spine fins or the dorsal fins the overall proportion size I think I don't know I don't know is that like I don't know is that Game of Thrones or is that just kind of everybody comes to a similar vibe when you think about like dragons as big animals you know like I don't know I, I mean, will say maybe like I I will say the art of the red dragon that's like flying through the air, which the one that Tyler Jacobson did, uh, those horns are red. <laughs> you can't see, you can barely see those horns. Yeah, uh, and that one, yes, they are harder to see. They're way harder to see on that one. I mean, they also I have don't... like a the older ones had a smaller neck. They have the they, bigger they body. Get thick neck i kind of like the big thick neck i like that big ass neck i feel like an animal like this need to have a big thick ass neck uh, I, I i can see what you're saying but i i don't know i like i said they're cool i just they don't they just don't feel dnd &D to me that's pretty much where where the my argument kind of ends they don't feel super big fantasy they feel more realistic fantasy I don't know. I don't know that. I, I, yeah, I don't know that I feel that. Like, I don't feel like the, I don't think there's anything about these that say they're not D. &D. I mean, they f do. They feel a little more rounded, which sounds ridiculous to say about a dragon. Um, maybe a little bit. But the thing about D and D is that D and D kind of treats its dragons, as we'll get to later. D and D kind of treats the dragons like animals. And that they exist in like a specific kind of environment and they're adapted to a specific kind of thing. So them feeling a little more grounded like an animal, I think makes sense. Like I know they're magical inherently, but they they are they feel they're they're treated as if you could sort of, you know, like the way they're explained is that you can study a dragon in, in D D or it's in the Forgotten Realms, I guess. So it's like it feels weird to try and high fantasy it up. I don't know. I yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I feel that they're not D and D doesn't strike me. I also think the new red dragon looks more intimidating. I don't know. I the so that art that you posted, the the one underneath the two comparisons, to me that thing is more intimidating than the new Dragon. Well, that's one in flight, like burn and sh like that just burn shit up. Whereas the new one, we just have him kind of walking. I don't know. That's uh, it. Kind of. Well, it's like yeah. the new dragon. It has a more like feline, like big cat sort of musculature. Yeah, it's it's got like a. a you know, it's killing me that the words are failing me now, like its tail is bigger and, and stockier. It looks like it would just hit you harder. If it punched you, if any of these things punched you, you're going to turn into a pink mist. But I, I feel like the red, the the, uh, the older one just looks like it punchy harder. I don't know. I like that the new one feel, kind of feels like a big cat. No, see, I don't I don't think the new one feels like a big cat. For me, the new one feels like a big lizard. The old ones felt like big cats. The way that they like stood and walked, like, for example, this looks like a cat mid trot. I mean, yeah, I guess. Kind of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think the I, th I don't know that the new art, the new art we have, they have quite a like. At least the red dragon looks like he's kind of creeping along. I, th I don't know. I think the new one looks more intimidating. I also like the use of way more black being implemented. I think the, the added, color's great. Yeah, I think the added black helps a lot. And the fact that the underbelly is like an ashy white as like like coal or ash from like a fireplace, I think is that's a fucking genius maneuver. It's just like a cool like palette choice. 
I will say, the, looking at the bronze one again, the the wings. The, I don't know what they're trying to do with the wings. They feel odd. Feel a little odd. They remind me of something like a sea turtle's fins. Oh, you can maybe. clearly see that there were bones in there, like those were hands at some point. The shape makes me think of a big leaf. <laughs> I could see that a big maple leaf. Yeah. Yeah. And then so wait, so the the problem with your problem with the gold one though is that the wings are not really wings per se. It's they're just too small. Like, oh my god, I keep saying the word like it's pissing me off. Uh, if you read through, if you actually read through the article there, that was deliberate. It was? Yeah. I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> because you run into this issue where because the tail is so long and it gets so wide, the dragon feels really lopsided. Its head is thinner than any point in its body other than its neck. Yeah. So you almost want to look at it backwards, but it's not backwards. It, I don't, the silhouette I, just kind of not that it falls apart, but it doesn't read perfectly for me. The old gold dragons, which still had a really long tail that was flared at the end, is they had that massive Y shape, right? Like their their wings came to a massive crest. And that had like a really striking silhouette. I don't know. I, I did not like the look of the wings on the old gold design. Don't really? they? No, nah, yeah, they look. I don't know. They they just don't. They feel weird. I just don't like the vibe because they're not quite wings, but they're kind of trying to be wings. I think I like that with the new gold dragon, they committed to the idea that the wings aren't even really wings per se, and they're more like a sort of like flying squirrel flaps or something like that. They're these like gliding things, and that really the dragon is just flying magically. You know, the wings aren't actually helping it fly in any fashion. Because and, and I suppose I, I liked that the the old ones, they, they had this sort of kite wind riding effect. See, but I think they still I feel have like the that. new one won't have as much. I think it still has that. I it's, know, just, like, it's just a different look. It's like a different shape, but I think it still has that. And hmm. as for the, the silhouette being backwards, I don't think so. I think it makes sense. You don't? That the tail no, I think it makes sense that the tail is like wider. Is your, the tail is going to be it, it feels like a it feels like a streaming. It feels like a. Um, those those <laughs> ironically, it feels like those kites they use in like a Chinese festival that are like those big, long ones, the really long streamers. Yeah, yeah, I, I, it feels like one of those. Which I, 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 I get what I you're saying. I, like. I, I just feel like it's. The proportions are off. I, I. Isaiah hates everything new. That's what we're learning. I don't hate everything new. <laughs> I like I said, I like these designs a lot. They just don't feel D&D &D to me. But like, I don't. You see, I don't understand that because like, I don't think D&D &D has any one. I don't feel like D&D &D has any one holistic. 100% look to any of No, I don't know that that's true. A lot of their monsters have a sort of storybook-esque aesthetic to them. I think that's that's was it's obviously until they're done by like different artists and whatnot or that weird 3D shit they did for that one hell book. Um, they have this sort of drawn in a storybook sort of aesthetic. And the new ones are not that. The new ones are, are a photograph taken of the actual red dragon. You know? Hell, even that more realistic shot, the one that we keep going back to of it, like destroying the building and flying away, that still looks like it came from a storybook. I don't think it does. I don't really get where you're getting. I don't, I don't, I've never gotten that. I, the only time I get the storybook impression is when they do specifically alternate styles that aren't, because, you know, D&D &D stays within the, uh, the, the sort of realistic fa fantasy realm for the most part. And I don't think that feels like a storybook thing. The only time I feel like they venture into that realm is when they get into their more like fringe styles. 
like the Tasha's uh, Tasha's Cauldron type cover. That that kind of vibe, I think, is more in the storybook direction than it. Seriously, I, I, I don't know. For example, the bullet. That thing makes no sense. Practically, well, the, the monsters making no sense and them being drawn in like a storybook style, I think, are kind of two separate things. No, I, I no, I genuinely don't think they are right. It, they're they're sort of drawn in a style that no, it, it doesn't really make sense. But it's you know, it's a it's a it's a fantasy story. It doesn't need to. Right. It, this, but... is, it, this is I know this is a weird thing because I always go off about like I want more practicality in these things. But str- like high fantasy is where I don't want that. I want right, but the you're like talking Conan about... Barbarian loincloth. You're talking about their like designs and their vibe. You're not ne- that's not necessarily about their art style as much because I don't think the art style invokes any kind of storybook thing. Like it, the art style is is trending towards fantastical like realism. And if anything, the only reason they're feeling probably more like they're trending towards realism with the newer art, probably just because they have a bigger budget and they're paying, you know, more seasoned artists. But I don't think the style ever invoked like because storybook to me always implies more simplified art, like less detailed, not more detailed. Yeah, and, I think you can make a solid argument that the overall detail in the art for 5e is less quote unquote detailed, right? Rather than having the the you can clearly see thousands of scales on the new the newer red dragon. The old one has the the more plate like scales, which is sure on paper less detail, but it looks more fantastical. Sure, but that's just saying the new stuff looks more detailed com- in comparison to the old stuff. What I'm saying is I don't think the old stuff was ever like it is less detail, but I don't think it was ever lower detail. Like it was never like the old fi- the the old 5e art was never minimal detail. They always still tried to have that realism bent to it. It's just that the newer stuff has even more like the old stuff was, you know, 80 percent and the new stuff is 95 percent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like, think that we, we've just pushed too far is what I'm saying. I agree with you. I don't think it was um, of lower quality as in it was it was done by any worse of an artist, but the designs were simpler. I, I guess you could make an argument of pushing too far, maybe. I don't think that's particularly a necessarily bad per se kind of depends, but also the idea of the dragons being drawn like, like in a book as, as like a scientific study, like somebody put them in like a biology book. I kind of love that. That feels more fun than someone like, as opposed to someone describing a red dragon and then someone kind of draws it like the newer ones almost feel like some guy actually studied like a red dragon in front of him, which I don't know how the fuck he managed that. But, you know, whatever <laughs> um, you can do both. Uh, you can have things like having, you know, that what the 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 Draconomicon did where it showed their internal bodies and, and their organ structure, but it still had that it was drawn by someone look rather than a more photographic. I guess. I don't know. I think I think the more photographic work look kind of works when you're doing it. Eh. It I, it might bother me for other types of monsters and stuff like, you know, I could like stuff that's particularly weird and out of place. Like it might bother me for ghosts and aberrations or something like that. But I think with the dragons, it makes sense. Like, I think it will kind of depend because I could see I could see a drawing of like, you know, Something that's inherently wacky woohoo nonsense, like a like a beholder or something like that. I could see a drawing of a beholder looking too realistic to the point where your brain's like not sure what to do with it. I could get that, but I think for the dragons, it feels right to do that, even though, again, obviously dragons aren't real, but I guess it's I guess it's not <laughs> dragons aren't real, but like lizards are real, right? I guess I think that's what it is. We know lizards. And so making them 
feel more like lizards kind of works. So maybe that's it for me. I don't really look at dragons like they're lizards. And they are, they're literally big lizards, though. Uh, I mean, it, technically, if you're counting D&D's lore, they're not lizards. They're dragons. There's a difference, sir. But, no, I know, I, but I'm not talking about D&D's lore. I, I'm talking about as human beings, when we design dragons, we base them on lizards because that's the closest thing we have in the real world to use as reference. Like, we use reptiles. You know, unless you're trying to specifically do something out of the standard. But, you know, you tell yes, you tell someone. I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. You tell someone to gather reference for a dragon. They're going to get a bunch of pictures, pictures of crocodiles and iguanas and water, water dragons and Komodo dragons and shit like I mean, shit. The fact that we literally call lizards, some lizards dragons. <laughs> yes, I just kind of a funny yeah, I. I to me, I, I never felt like a fight. A D&D dragon was a lizard. To me, it was a dragon, like a distinctive. It's a different thing. It might look similar, but, I, but they're I'm not, not saying in the same I'm way that saying, like reptiles and avians share uh, a, a common ancestor. I'm not saying they're literally treated as lizards lore wise or anything. I'm just saying like visual language wise as human beings like disregarding the game as human beings, lizards are the point of reference we use for something like a dragon. You know? No, I do. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I get exactly what you're saying. I, I but what what I keep saying is is design wise, even then, they still aren't lizards to me. Don't don't follow that logic, but OK. I, I I'm struggling to put it into words. But it's, it's sort of like what I was saying, right? They feel like massive big cats with scales. I guess, but I I don't I think they still have some of that though. I don't think they've lost that. Well, maybe the gold dragon. The gold dragon absolutely has uh, the bronze and uh, the, the I, bronze I and red. I don't. Think I don't see it in them anymore. It's gone. It, whatever that was, packed up and went home. <laughs> I think those haunches look like something you could kind of see on like a lion. Especially the way the red dragon strutting. These lizards don't. Lizards crawl with their stomach like close to the floor. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty up there. What, could other, what else you got on this? Because we're also going <laughs> to talk about this for a million years. I feel like we're just going to go back and forth for three hours. I mean, uh, fair enough. Um, I think that was it about the dragon redesign.